all right guys so let's modularize our routes first of all we need to create two routes and one route will be a default route that will contain this default route and other route will be a people's route that will contain all the routes that are related to our people json file so along with the data i will create a new folder inside my app folder and i will name it routes so inside my routes i will create index.js and another file and that is people.js all right so in my app i will cut this default route and take it to the index and i will cut both the other routes and take it to the people.js file okay so in my app how the app.js the default server app the file knows that this index file is the default route and this people.js file is the people's route so express provide us an efficient way in order to identify the route files so first of all we can use app dot use and inside it we can use require and within the single quotes i can use routes and index i don't need to write dot js along with it so i will just test it with the index uh, for now so i'll save this file but uh, there is an error because uh, i need to export this file as a route i need to tell this app.js file that if i'm importing this index file inside my app.js file this has to be the route okay so i will copy the express line right here and after that i will create a router equals to express dot router okay and rather than using the app dot get i will write router dot get and after that i need to export this module so i will use module dot exports equals to router all right so let's save this file and now you can see there is no error all right uh, i don't need to um, i'm not adding this people's route right now so just go to the browser and test it if it's working fine so i'll go to my browser and you can see can't find people slash one so right now i just need to test the default route if i navigate to the local host column 3300 uh, we have seen this message welcome to our site so our index route is working okay so now in the same way we need to create our people's route so i will write people the name of that file but that file needs to have these things so i will copy and paste right here and copy and paste right here as well I need to export this module and rather than using app.get I need to write router.get so let's save it you can see there is no error uh, but right now uh, you can see that these this file is using this data variable right here and right here as well but we have not imported that data variable inside our file there are two ways that we can use this data json file variable in this route so let's go to our browser and let's see what is the error if i go to this route and i will write people and you can see data is not defined this is the error that has been shown in our browser okay so in order to use it we can import the same line right here that we imported this thing okay so let's copy this and paste it right here and rather than let's say we are inside the route so we need to write dot 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 forward slash and data and inside it we have people.json so let's go to our browser and reload it and you can see that the data has been shown okay there is no error uh, in our project right here but uh, it is not a good practice if we have created uh, multiple files in our routes folder and all the files are requiring the same 
uh, data slash people uh, dot json file so what is the other and efficient way of uh, using the data variable is to set this data variable from here so in order to set uh, this variable uh, i can use app dot set and just like i said that import variable i can set the data variable as well so data and i can use the data variable that has been used right here okay so in order to use this data variable that has been set right here in my index and the people uh, route file i can use a local variable right here data and i can use this request object in order to get the data uh, set uh, that is inside this app.js file so i will use request dot app dot get and i will write data Okay, so let's copy this line and paste it right here as well so let's save it and go to our browser and see the same result has been shown up if i navigate to any specific people let's say i want to get the third person and you can see leo messi the id has three has been fetched so in this way we can separate different routes using these uh, this folder routes folder or we can uh, write anything uh, here but this is a recommended folder name you can see the icon has been changed uh, with respect to the name of our folder and icon of the app is different icon of the node underscore modules is different so that's why uh, uh, there has to be a specific recommended names of uh, these routes uh, we have a public folder as well we can have a models folder we can have a controllers folder views folder uh, that we will be creating uh, in upcoming video so that's for it in this video make sure you subscribe my channel and hit the like button if you haven't yet thanks for watching and make sure you download the book that is given in the description below that is recommended for you guys to get the better and in-depth understanding of working with node and express thanks